So in the first section, we are going to define the so-called maximal margin classifier, which is a precursor for a support vector machine. Um, so first, we are going to talk about a separating hyperplane. So uh, the data set that I'm going to use is the famous iris data set. So this is um, measurements of three species of iris flowers. And this is a classification problem. So the number of uh, observations is 150 with three classes, and there are four predictors. But I'm going to only extract two predictors so that I can plot the data. And I am going to remove one of the three classes, right? So basically, this class, which is what Versicolor, I'm going to just remove. So know that uh, the, the colors on the left plot and the right plot are different, yeah, so it's a bit misleading. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so for the sake of uh, the, the story, I am going to just distinguish between the two classes. So this is a problem. This is a binary classification problem. And um, in this case, as you see, so they can be separated very nicely and clearly, right? So uh, what we see here is the first uh, special difference between support vector machine and other classification uh, algorithms, right? So like if you recall um, logistic regression, then in logistic regression, our classes should be zero. We, we label them by zero and one. So for support vector machine, we label them by negative one and one, right? So here, our actual value of y is negative one. And here, our actual value of y is one. This is important. So now, uh, support vector machine is a very geometric method. So it can be visualized and you need some geometric intuition to understand it. So in the tutorial, we are going to do some problems that are sound more like geometry rather than um, machine learning. So um, a hyperplane in a p-dimensional space is given by a linear equation. Now, uh, if p equals 2, then our hyperplane is just a line. Well, a separating hyperplane is a hyperplane that separates two classes, right? So, or for if p equals 2, then it is a line that separates two classes, right? So if p is 0, then a separating hyperplane is just a point that separates two classes. Okay, so... Um, here is some separating hyperplane. So, by the way, if uh, maybe I should mention it. So, if the um, equation of the, this hyperplane is b plus w one x one plus w two x two is zero, right? So then the vector with entries w one w two is perpendicular to this line, right? So this is the vector w one w two. So th this is some uh, high school geometry. And so the coefficients in the dimension of a hyperplane, so their geometric meaning is that they form a normal vector to the hyperplane. Uh, but uh, if there is one separating hyperplane, then there will be many separating hyperplanes. Of course, the, the, there, there's going to be infinitely many. So, you, so basically, all these are going to be separating hyperplanes. Well, and given a separated hyperplane, so we are going to construct a classifier uh, that just assigns a test observation according to which side of the hyperplane our test observation is, right? So the, our classifier f hat of x just depends on which side of the hyperplane uh, our observation is. So if it is on the side with negative one, then it returns negative one. If it is on the side with positive one, it returns positive one. And now it's going to become clear why we want uh, negative one and positive one to be to label our two classes rather than zero and one. So this is the equation of a separating hyperplane. And uh, the fact that it is separated means that um, whenever the actual observed class is one, 
So then if we substitute this, this point to the hyperplane, to the hyperplane equation, then we will get an inequality with a positive sign. All right, and if our observation uh, belongs to the negative class, all right, so then when we substitute um, our um, x uh, values into the equation for the hyperplane, then we are going to get a negative number. Right, so th this is precisely what separated means. So on the hyperplane, we have the equality equals zero, then on one side, everything. Is positive on the other side is, is negative, right? And putting it together, we get the, this condition. So at the same time, it means that our classifier f hat of x is just the sign of this expression. So b plus w1 x1 plus and so on plus wp x, p. And so this, this is our classifier. All right, so this is the end of the first part. I hope it is um, intuitively clear and visual. So please do the first quiz.